All the passion, comedy, and drama of growing up in an Italian-American family are captured in the one-man play, Hear What's in the Heart, A Shoemaker's Tale. Middletown's own Steve Shanti, who co-wrote and stars in the production, joins me now. Welcome to Connecticut Style. It's great oh, to have you thank here. Thank you, for having me. I appreciate so it. So let's talk about this play. Talk, uh, it's based around your grandfather. It's based on my grandfather. He was a shoemaker uh, on Main Street in Middletown, uh, and he uh, paid for my first dance lessons, and he was uh, instrumental in me pursuing a career in the arts. Tell me a little bit about him. Well, he was uh, a man of principle. He was also a very, a very funny human being, uh, and he was a great storyteller. Uh, and um, he, he was just a, a very, very, very well-respected man in the Middletown community. And he was also uh, responsible for sponsoring a lot of Italians coming over, or from, Sic from Sicily, coming over into Middletown and settling in the Middletown area. Actually, there's more Sicilians from Malili, Sicily, that live in Middletown than they I've live in, in Sicily. I mean, it's like, it's, it's insane how many people uh, that he helped settle. He was just a very well-respected man. So. Now, you also worked with uh, Anthony Cervello, big name. Anthony Cervello, yes. Cervello, he, yes. He, he won the Tony Award uh, for Kiss of the Spider Woman, and then he is now working, uh, doing the, um, the Phantom at the Venetian in Vegas as we speak, and he is a very dear friend, and he helped me uh, uh, write and direct this piece, and he's just a phenomenal, talented man. All right, so uh, this isn't a typical Italian movie like you would see on, uh, you know, like the mob movies or anything like that. You, you're giving this a good name. Yes, uh, this is finally, uh, you know, over years of, uh, as you know, being Italian and, and coming from the background I came from, uh, it's just, uh, I took it upon myself as an artist to, to step forward and write something that says no. This Gives everybody is, a bad name. Yeah. Right? Well, this is you know it, it's unheard of to find uh, you know uh, a grandfather that would inspire his grandson to be an artist, unlike all the stuff that's being written about as far as the mob this, mob that, and and, and, uh, and now a lot of Italian organizations are starting to hear about it and starting to support me. So that's true. I'm very excited. What are we looking at on the screen here? Uh, that is actually uh, my grandfather. Uh, at the very beginning of the show where all of his friends used to come in and have espresso in a shoe shop. Okay. And they used to come in and used to say, buongiorno, and so on and so forth. And then, uh, actually, that's the day that I come back and tell them that I got uh, my first Broadway show. Oh, so, I can't wait. All yeah. right, we're going to have you perform in just a minute, but there's the information on the screen. Hear what's in the heart, A Shoemaker's Tale. It's happening next Thursday and Friday at CFA Theater Center for the Arts at Wesleyan University. That's in Middletown. For ticket information, call the number on the screen or visit wesleyan.edu. All right, Steve, take it away. Thank you. Hey, don't walk away from me, Stevie. I'm talking to you. I want it so bad to smack my brother, Antonio, up and down the street when I heard those words. So bad. And we've had some vicious fights, me and my brother over all kinds of things, but I... I couldn't touch him. I just kept hearing my grandfather's voice all the way back to when I was eight years old. Listen to the words. I parole. Ma, hear. What's in the heart? Oh, God. Antonio's words might have been filled with venom and rage, and his words were right. But deep down inside, at the same time, I knew what his heart was saying. Grandpa's dying, Stevie, and I'm going to miss him. Grandpa, are you afraid of dying? After a few moments, he looked up to me and he said, I was at first just like any other man, but now I know I've lived a rich life, richer than any millionaire could wish. I've had love, I've had respect, and I've seen my family grow, and I wish you the same. And then he said, 
I'm proud of you, Stephen Jell. See, si, you that you know, no, I know, I know. You taught me when I was a little boy that everyone has good in them. And you said someday that I would tell you that you were right. Where you are, Grandpa, you're right. You rest now. Rabah's in there. 